morning, uh, Vinaysha, and welcome to the Retail Jeweler uh, YouTube channel. We are here today to talk about the GJBC's IJS virtual show starting on 12th of October. So, what is your feel for the show uh, this time happening on the online format? Uh, good morning, Samit. Thanks for having me here today. Um, I think due to the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, there's a big adoption of digital means across industries and uh, needless to say, our industry hasn't stayed uh, very far behind. So really kudos to the GJPC for giving us this great platform for, you know, not only the bigger jewelers, but even smaller mom and pop jewelers to be able to access uh, and tap into a large uh, vendor ne network across India that at this point in time would have seemed impossible. That's right, because we have been just uh, talking to some of the manufacturers, the smaller ones. They are also saying that they are also meeting people, you know, from across India, which they could never do when they were in a physical show. You know, so it's much it's getting it more wider. Uh, so you know, I'm sure that you your purchase teams have already uh, logged in and registered on the IIJS uh, virtual platform. So what is it in uh, focus for you this year? At, uh, in terms of product categories at the IIJS virtual? I think these are really challenging times and the expectation that we have from IIJS uh, jewelers and manufacturers is how they've really studied uh, market intelligence and adapted to what uh, jewelers on ground really need. So we're really looking forward to new sort of innovations, uh, low price and products as well as wedding jewellery that's going to be uh, really driven through this uh, next festive season. We're seeing a lot of pent up demand, needless to say, uh, you know, a lot of people have postponed their jewellery wedding bang, but come the valley, we're seeing a lot of consumers already walking in, but uh, we're also seeing a lot of purchase in the low ticket item. So really it is across the whole uh, spectrum that we're looking to uh, buy products. What do you think will be the sales uh, in the next six months starting from uh, 18th of October which is Navratri till March and do you think that the industry will uh, make up to a large extent for, for with last year's figures? I think as we stepped into lockdown a lot of us thought it was doomsday but our industry has been super resilient, our consumers have been super resilient. We're seeing a lot of uh, demand coming back across India. Needless to say, a lot of uh, tier two and non-metros have seen, you know, that pent up demand uh, sort of open up and we're seeing Diwali not only uh, being translated into higher sales and we're hoping that it continues, the momentum continues. At the same time, uh, you know, we're going to have to keep a keen watch on consumer sentiment and the economy on an ongoing basis. Thank you very much, uh, Binesha. Thanks a lot for your time. And all the best for the festive and the wedding season. And we look forward to seeing you and your team at the IIJS virtual. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me, Sana.